First of all, what's your most vivid memory uh, of the rubble at the World Trade Center on 9 11? Because you were there, and that flag certainly became a symbol. It was the enormity of it, I think, Wolf. Um, when we got there, uh, you know, that came back that night and just started to see the people that were trying to help us with buckets. It reminded me of uh, slaves building the pyramids uh, thousands of years ago. It, it was just something that, uh, until we could get heavy equipment in, which took a while, the idea of rescuing people, which was so important to us, was very, very difficult because the stuff was just so heavy and so dense we couldn't move it. What, what made that photo the most iconic image, shall we say, the memory of that tragic day in 2001? Well, you know, everybody was looking for hope. Uh, the first night we met with experts who said we'd find no one, that we wouldn't be able to rescue anybody because of the weight and because of the impact of, of the uh, building collapsing. And we needed hope. And something like that picture uh, came out, I think, Thursday after September 11th, which was two days. It gave everybody a symbol that, um, that we were going to be there, that we were going to be there as long as it was necessary, and that we were going to rescue people if we could. And if not, we were going to try to do what was right and recover the remains of not just our heroes, but all the folks, that, innocents that died that day. A lot of people thought that they saw that flag at Yankee Stadium aboard aircraft carriers, but it wasn't the, the real flag. Where, where was that real flag? Well, you know, I, we'll never know, I guess, unless you guys have figured it out and you're going to tell us tomorrow. We thought we had it uh, a couple of days after when the mayor asked us to, to give it to him so Admiral Natter could bring it on the uh, aircraft carrier. We thought we sent the right one over there. Uh, maybe it was the wrong one at the time. But even that one has disappeared, uh, the one that they signed and the one that was flown. So it really is a mystery. I think it was probably an innocent mystery. Uh, probably removed by firefighters who didn't want to des uh, desecrate it, or maybe there was fire all around it. They were probably trying to just put fire out, so they removed the flag, put it somewhere. And it certainly wasn't a big priority. It wasn't on anyone's mind at the time. Right. You have to remember that it was two days before it was in the post. So people were worried about rescuing their brothers and rescuing innocent people. So it wasn't something that was a big priority at the time. When you look at it now, it, it seems in Congress that you could, uh, you know, lose it. But at the time, it wasn't uh, any kind of a priority. Thomas von Essen, uh, thanks very much for all your help. Thanks for everything you did. Folks are going to have to watch our documentary tomorrow night, The Flag. It airs here on CNN, 9 p.m. Eastern.